Hi everyone, as a sequel of the previous uploads, I just want to go through some failures because I think it's important as well because not everything on YouTube is like it is. Uh, people sometimes hide their mistakes. I'm quite open about it and I think it's very important to share uh, the failures as well because uh, in the last video I made quite an important failure so I sanded a 3D part, uh, put in a lot of labor into it and then failed while doing the mold. And I'll quickly go through some like tips or um, things that might have gone wrong that I would change now uh, because I think it's important to uh, help you guys out as well with uh, these things instead of just showing like the perfect projects. So um, these shots were already in the previous video. If you haven't seen it yet, it will be in the description down below. And I'll also show you how it could be solved in like an easier way in that video. So everything is prepared. So the idea was to make uh, a mold using the uni mold uh, system from Easy Composites. So I'll just mention it's not really a problem about the system because I've used it on various projects before. It's just, uh, just sometimes that you had like uh, hit or miss or you do a mistake in your preparations and that was what probably went wrong in this project. So the pattern was prepared with the primer and I think the primer, like it's known that the styrene and the gel coats will react with any 1K primer or paint. What I did is add a layer of 2K clear on top, but I think that it might have been too thin and that's why probably the uh, gel coats with the styrene reacted, like you can see in this shot, with the mold, um, like the pattern. So um, here I already knew that things were going uh, like the wrong way and I'll show you how it could be solved. Like I was hoping that it was just the gel coat like shrinking together. Um, like it's called in terms it's alligatoring. If you look it up, up on Google, you find a lot of solutions or probably what you did wrong. Most it will be about the um, amount of MacP hardener or being um, a too thin layer. As I could see in the videos, um, I already seen that the resin was quite thin on some places and it can cause some shrinkage or not fully curing um, the gel coat. And here is how I try to solve it in a, like a most cheapest way possible. So instead of going through with all the mold making um, after it, like using the tooling um, gel coat and the coupling coat in between. Uh, this was only a mistake that cost me about, I think 30 euros or something like that, but a lot of labor, but it's not that important for me. It's more about learning. And till this point, I didn't even know how the mold would come off. If you're just doing a flat piece, sometimes it's easy to repair it in the mold. But as you can see here, it detects the plug as well. So quite a big disappointment. Um, the mold was destroyed as well, but things keep going on and moving on and you learn from your mistakes. And I think I want to do these again. So I hope this video helped you out a bit. Um, leave a comment down below with your biggest mistake in your craft. Is it composites or wood or something else? I would be more than happy to read your mistakes and see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.